Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about a music producer and an engineer. These are words that get thrown around a lot lately through music production. Online, you hear people saying, hey, I'm an engineer and a producer, or I'm a producer, or I'm an engineer. People do sound engineering, but no one really studies production and all that type of stuff. So I'm just going to try and help you guys understand what these two titles mean, because you can look them up and see what they mean exactly, but they'll give you a lot of things and it just gets confusing. You won't understand exactly what's what because they're all kind of interlinked. But let's start with a producer. A producer is a powerful role. That's that's the role that a lot of people want to be. When you hear about people like Timbaland, Swiss Beats, like Quincy Jones, these are really big producers that are icons in music production. But now when you think of engineers, you don't see anybody that really shows up. If you Google engineer music or sound engineer or music engineer, you won't really find people that you might know or people that are really famous because these are people that actually engineer the sound. So a lot of people misunderstand what the roles are of these two people. Usually you want to be a producer when you're coming up in music and you're making your own music. So with you wanting to be a music producer, you just want to make music. But then now you have to also take on the role of being an engineer. And this is where a lot of people don't understand it. They come looking for tutorials we make tutorials on how to produce but we really don't make tutorials on how to engineer sound some of us do but people don't understand and they don't like those so they will keep coming back and saying I don't understand how to mix and master I don't understand how to really tweak my sounds to make them sound good not understanding that that section is now the engineering section of music production it's no longer just being a producer a producer might not even have to touch any equipment in the studio when an artist like a big artist is working in the studio they usually have the engineer and the producer in there. So if, if for instance, they're working with a person like Timberland, Timberland will actually come as a producer and he will actually bring his own engineer in the studio or the engineer that likes to work uh, with someone like maybe Drake but everybody has their own engineer that knows how to really carve their sound. So this is a person that whenever they record something, they record it using, uh, they, they work with a certain engineer that they like, that they feel like will really work with them nicely so that whenever they record a vocal or whatever it is, it's processed by their engineer, a person that's just dedicated to sorting out their own sound. So even if the beat is produced by a Timberland, even if the beat is produced by a Pharrell or whoever produced it, it's gonna be the same engineer that's gonna engineer the music to the way it sounds so that it sounds consistent all the time. Think about any artist that you like, like a really big international artist that you like. Most of their songs sound the same. Their vocals sound the same. If you listen to a Drake vocal, it sounds the same no matter which song, no matter which artist he's featuring with. If you listen to a Chris Brown, if you listen to a Kendrick Lamar or whoever, no matter what style of music they use, the same engineers most of the time so a producer is a person that can actually produce without even touching any knob in the studio or actually doing anything he can just put people together dj khaled he's one person that really sticks out like a producer he doesn't produce all those beats you hear on his album all he just does is yell his name on the track and basically call everybody else to come in producers artists and singers and so forth so that's basically being a producer being an engineer we're talking about people like dave pensado we're talking about andrew ships and so forth so these are people that are actually in the engineering section of stuff they can actually tweak sounds and really go in depth about music production and carving sounds and mixing and mastering and stuff like that so you have to know exactly what you want to be in music production do you just want to be a producer a person that just puts a song together or you want to be an engineer a person that can actually take a song that's already been made and make it sound the best it can so that it's ready to be put out there commercially nowadays you kind of have to be a jack of all trades so you can be both as long Long as you just give a chance to learn to be a good producer and also take time to learn to be a good engineer so whenever you're watching videos or you're trying to learn something understand exactly which category it falls in is it production or is it engineering you know because when we're producing sometimes I do videos on just production and I'm showing you guys that actually make certain uh, sounds or certain styles in some videos I'm showing you the more engineering side where I'm teaching you how to tweak this where I'm teaching you how to achieve this with your sound and the mixing and the mastering and carving your sound nicely so i hope this really clarifies so you understand what these titles mean and you know how they are relevant to your work and your career as well if you did find this useful if you feel like i've left something out of this conversation let me know down below in the comments put something down there i want to know what you guys think about this if you feel i left something out but that's been the video if it really helped you leave a like down below subscribe if you're new here i'm gonna check you guys out in my next video thanks so much for watching i'm x and i'm out peace